Hey guys, so let's talk about add-ons I'm using in 2024 here. So we're going to go to uh, preferences and just take a look at some add-ons real quick. Do the community ones, enabled only. And I'm not going to go over each add-on and how it's used and whatnot, but this is just to kind of catch you up to what I'm currently using anyway, since I made that video talking about them uh, two years ago. So first up, I'm using kind of the typical stuff here. Box cutter, uh, grab dock, hard ops. Machine tools, uh, measure it, comes with Blender, but I use that modifier list. Uh, rotate in the HDRI, which is still very useful. Uh, extra objects, which come with Blender. VDM Brush Baker comes with Blender. Uh, some of these things I turn on and off as well. So like if you don't see Rigify in here or certain things like that, I do turn those on and off as needed. Uh, but uh, Curve Machine, uh, import export blend is uh, another little add-on so you can just batch export blend files or like you can select an object to export a blend file um, image paste which is awesome uh, import palettes which comes with blender uh, unity fbx format so this is a lot all of these are listed on my website by the way for the most part um, unity fbx format for getting things into unity super useful and let's see, that comes with Blender, it's on by default. Uh, interface, synchronized workspaces, major like of this one. I hate having every interface separate. I'd rather just have kind of one interface, but so I leave that one on all the time. Curve face color add on, of course, to do quad measure when you want to use materials based off normals. Mesh edge flow add on, super useful for subdivision when you want to just create, or even a uh, standard modeling when you're trying to create game models. I'm going to create some nice even curves, edges sometimes. F2 add-on, of course, comes with Blender. Loop tools. You got Mesh Machine in here. Quad Remesher. A Node Wrangler is on. Batch UVs, which is super important if you're going to be doing a lot of Atlas work. So if you're doing a bunch of low-poly models and you got to Atlas them all together, uh, you can do that and you can combo it up with the Simple Bake add-on. So that you can bake uh, all the meshes that have maybe like your own unique texture maps into a new UV map very easily. Bull tool. I use bull tool for uh, the destructive bullions because hard ops kind of takes over for the regular bullions. So I have to customize everything. So it's really weird how all this is set up. Uh, simple bake. Texel density checker. Uh, Backmaster has a way of checking texel density, I think. Of but I still use Texel Density Checker quite a bit because I like being able to just set the size and be done. Sim to Unreal for Unreal Engine, obviously. That one's tricky. You gotta link your Epic Games account to the Git, and then eventually you can get the add-on. Uh, Sculpt Alpha's Manager, super useful still. Uh, text Tools. This is kind of superseded UV Toolkit. I use text tools more than toolkit, but there's a few things in toolkit I'll still use. So, and then Packmaster three, and it's really tough to beat Packmaster. You know, being able to create uh, UV groups or lock groups, and then being able to pack everything to those and keep textile densities and sizes, and that's super useful uh, for UV layout, anyways. Especially when you're getting into things like atlasing of large sets. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for add-ons. I just wanted to make this video real quick, so. You guys have an idea of all that stuff going on there. Uh, they'll pop up occasionally, time to time, but obviously, like, you know, when you're working with UV maps, it's something I don't do a whole lot of videos on. So, having these additional buttons in here to be able to create uh, UVs on multiple objects and stuff doesn't really come up quite a bit in my videos, but I could. And so, you can see, like, I create a UV here. And then I want to assign it to all of them. Set or create. You'll see it creates all of them. So if I do another one, let's call it two. Set or create. You'll see they all have two now. Yeah, so little add-ons like that. They go a long way. So that way you can take your second UVs and repack them maybe. I said I wasn't going to demo any of these, but here I am. So a little bit of margin, maybe. Oh, select them first. And the packer is a little slow, in my opinion, but 
It does work. It's actually not too bad. It actually sometimes is pretty efficient. So, yeah, you get the idea now, right? So, you have UVs for all the different objects. You see this one's on two for some reason. We're all on one. But if we were to go back to two. Okay, two. There you go. Alright, so anyways, that's what that thing does. It's pretty awesome. So, yeah, that's it for the add-ons. If you're just curious what I'm using, uh, each one of these you'd want to look into for sure, though. Uh, but anyways, that's it for this video, and I'll check you out the next one.